that's why they're looking for work for over a year, you know what I mean? But then obviously, probably like, I applied for so many jobs and just no one was, no, I never got heard anything back of any job, right? And then I heard Doc Rathbone about this. I went and that mix and said, oh, you've got a job, sorry, right? I was over the moon, right? Very soon, Jim Pickering will be front of house at the Taste Academy, taking orders and serving customers. I am excited about being in work. John Betch, railways found their most eloquent African. Ever Creech Junction, Somerset. It was to be the Clapham Junction of the West, the place where one line branched away to Bath and followed the Midland train, and the main line ran to Highbridge and followed the coal from Cardiff. That Pickwickian figure in the frightful hat is, I'm sorry to say, me talking to the station master. Could a station master's life? That's something worth living. I'd like to have met that. A line from one of his poems, Parliament Hill Fields, is one of the reasons I started writing railway fiction. Rumble under, thunder over, train and tram all turn and go. Something to do with the way a very dynamic image is created from such unpretentious language. A friend of mine did meet John Betjeman. He was helping the platform guard by slamming the doors on a train at Didcot Railway Station. Do you work here, Mr. Betjeman? I actually asked him. Yeah, the poet. For much of the railway's appeal was its permanence. It was a very useful request from our forefathers. As he writes in Pershaw Station, the Victorian world and the present in a moment's neighborhood. In his poetry, the railway station often stands for a world that is disappearing or has vanished completely. This is a monody on the death of Aldersgate Street Station. Snow falls in the buffet of Aldersgate Station. Soft hands in the tunnel in clouds of steam. City of London, before the next desecration, let your steepled forest of churches be repeated. Benjamin's poetry and prose seem to allied churches and railway stations, with both offering a refuge from the modern world. I find it very apt that he was behind the campaign to save St. Pancras from demolition. St. Pancras, after all, is both a Christian saint and a railway station. That's where nearly at the root of the Railway Preservation Society. He tried to save uh, the use to arts and got involved in lost that campaign, um, but then in the uh, 1960s there was a plan to demolish St. Pancras, seems extraordinary now, but uh, uh, yeah, he was very active in ensuring that it did not happen, and that sort of St. Pancras is great Gothic cathedral, our greatest uh, railway building was not demolished, and, and his efforts are now demonstrated by the fact that there was a statue of Benjamin in, in St. Pancras Station.